the least of his faults, but I do thank him for thinking about us and being mindful of us and making a way for us in the day that we live in. And I'm thankful for it this morning. And it's just good to be saved and know the Lord and know uh, uh, that we're on the Lord's side. And, and I'm thankful for that this morning. I'm, that old song says we're on the winning side. And I'm thankful for it. We've read the end of the, uh, of the book. We know how it's going to end up in these days. shed this whole outer man and, and the things of this world and uh, get to go home be with the Lord for there will be peace and I'm thankful for it this morning. If you will uh, uh, turn with us uh, the 41st, uh, 41st chapter of the book of Genesis. We're going to start about the 14th verse uh, uh, and read a few verses in your hearing and uh, may the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word and send that uh, uh, that we I need this morning. I about you. I certainly would like to hear from the Lord today and hear uh, the word this morning. I, I, no, just not because I'm here this morning standing. I, I tell you this morning, the Lord, I'm just a mouthpiece and, uh, for the Lord this morning, and I want him to use us if I desire it. If the Lord will uh, just come on the scene and give us utterance and open unto us the scriptures that we I might have something today that would feed this inward man and strengthen us together that we'd have a better desire when we leave to, uh, to do more for the Lord and just live for him. And I'm thankful for his mercy and his grace. The Bible said that uh, we're going to be talking this morning about uh, Joseph uh, 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 here, and I'm sure that uh, uh, very familiar the story of Joseph. I don't know how much we'll get to cover of it. I, uh, it talks about Joseph. I, I believe there's about eight uh, chapters that uh, covers uh, Joseph when he started out about 17 years old, and the Lord used him down in the journey of his life, and I'm thankful for it. So you listen this morning, pray for it. The Bible says in them 14th verse, then Pharaoh sinned and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself and changed his raiment, and came in unto Pharaoh, and Pharaoh said unto him, Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it, and I have heard say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to the interpretation of it. And Joseph answered uh, uh, Pharaoh, saying, it is not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And that's on our heart this morning. I, 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 as we said this morning, I don't know what the Lord might have us to say from it, but I, I tell you today, the, uh, the day that we live in and the, uh, uh, the world we live in, I, I, I believe that everybody's seeking for peace. I, I believe that this morning and just having peace in our hearts and our minds. I know there's a lot of things to trouble us today, and, uh, and it's always been that way. I believe that every generation had their troubles and their trials and their uh, the things that they had to go through. But I'm glad that I, uh, Joseph said, it's not in me to interpret the dream, but said that God shall give you peace. And I, I'm thankful this morning that we know the author of peace today. And I'm glad this morning that... Uh, Christ said that I, I peace, my peace I give unto you, and not as the world giveth and leave I unto you, and I, I know we've not told it just right, but I'm glad that in him we have peace today, and, and I'm thankful for that, and I was just thinking about Joseph's life, he started out as a young man, and he had trouble, he had his troubles, thank God, I, I tell you, but he knew where he could find help, and I'm thankful the Lord was there in his day as he, be, as he is in our day, that he'll give us peace. I, I know we're not exempt from uh, the troubles that come upon this world and the things that will be called us from day uh, to day, but I'm glad that we know where our strength uh, uh, lies this morning. I'm glad in him this morning that we have peace and we... I have the assurance of that the Lord will see us through. And I, I, you just pray for just a few minutes that the Lord will have, I open this unto us and that we might I, I be able to look beyond I, I, this world and this other uh, 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 world of uh, 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 trouble and the things that come upon the world. But I, I'm thankful this morning that the Lord has a way. Thank God of uh, uh, letting us be able to shed maybe uh, uh, the things of this world for just a little while and be able to uh, uh, get in his presence. Thank God. I'm glad he said he calls us to sit together uh, uh, in heavenly places. And I don't know uh, of a better place when we gather into his house uh, and that we uh, uh, get in one mind and one accord. And we'll agree this morning that we need the Lord 
10 years old, uh, uh, there in uh, uh, the youngest of, uh, uh, of his fathers, uh, Jacob's son there. Uh, and the Bible said, and I thought about this, seemed like the, uh, uh, when the big family, there's children, seem like the least, uh, uh, the youngest, maybe they get the most attention. Uh, and there the Bible said that his brothers were jealous uh, of him. And uh, uh, the Bible said that uh, uh, Jacob loved him more than others of the other children because uh, uh, he was the son of his old age there. And uh, uh, the Bible said that, uh, uh, that the, uh, Jacob made him a coat of many colors there. And his uh, uh, brothers, the Bible said that they were jealous of him. They injured him uh, uh, there because he got the most attention. Uh, uh, maybe that, but uh, uh, I know that the, uh, uh, this morning that Satan was in the mix uh, uh, this morning, but I tell you that uh, I'm glad this morning. Uh, I know in the, uh, uh, the day that we live in, man, uh, uh, that we all have a trouble. Uh, uh, a lot of times we're uh, showing more affection to one than the other. But uh, I tell you this morning, I'm glad the Lord's not that way. Uh, uh, that he loves us all the same. They were all special in his sight today. Uh, uh, but I let me uh, uh, hurry on this morning. But the Bible said that Jacob had made him a coat of many colors. Uh, and the Bible said that he would go out with his brothers and he would bring back uh, uh, to his father their evil doings. I tell them uh, uh, what their boys were doing. And, uh, uh, in other words, that Joseph got on the bad side of his brothers there. And the Bible said that they hated him. I, I tell you, I thought about Christ when he came into the world. Uh, uh, the Bible said that they hated him without a cause. Uh, uh, this morning, I, I believe that. Uh, uh, that the world hated the Lord. They really did. Without a cause, he came. I uh, uh, thank God to do good. And I believe that Joseph, uh, uh, brother, I believe he loved his brothers. And he wanted the best for them. Uh, uh, thank God when he bring back the evil report. Thank God that when Jacob uh, uh, maybe had to talk to them or maybe correct them, uh, other brothers, it was for their good. Uh, uh, this morning I thought about the scriptures a lot of times. Uh, uh, the word of God sometimes, I tell you, it trims me up. Uh, uh, this morning I've been trying to repent ever since I got here this morning that uh, uh, when I got up here that the Lord uh, uh, would help us this morning to get the outward man, this old man uh, uh, that I have so much trouble with that he get him out of the way uh, uh, that I might be a vessel this morning the Lord could use. Uh, uh, but I tell you, Jonah, I uh, uh, had a hard time. Thank God the Bible said that he uh, uh, told his brother he began to dream some dreams and he told uh, uh, his brothers about the dream that, uh, uh, that they were finding sheep and his sheep stood, uh, uh, stood up and then uh, that the other sheep being his brother, they bowed down before him. Uh, and this, uh, uh, this upset the brothers. He said, will we indeed bow before you and give up some seeds? Uh, I missed it to you. And, uh, and he said, well, uh, I just had the dream. I just tell you what the, uh, uh, the dream's about. And the Bible said he had another dream and the sun and the moon uh, and all the stars bowed before him and he told his father and his father rebuked him. Uh, uh, there he says, yo, I uh, uh, mean your mother uh, and your brothers bow before you. Uh, uh, this morning, Joseph didn't know uh, uh, what lied down the road. Thank God that I tell you, the Bible said that his brothers uh, uh, envied him and they hated him. But uh, uh, the Bible said that Jacob uh, uh, began to observe uh, and think about what he told him there. And let me go on. Uh, uh, this morning, I got more uh, than I'll ever be able to cover. I realize that this morning, but I. Uh, I want to try to get this out this morning and that uh, uh, Jacob, thank God, they hated him and uh, uh, the Lord, uh, the Bible said that Jacob sent him out to check on his brother. He sent him down to see Chum, uh, uh, there to feed the, uh, uh, the flock there. And old Jay, uh, uh, Joseph just went on down at his father's bidding to, uh, uh, to check on his brother and the Bible said he got down there uh, and couldn't find him and they uh, a man tell me about their wandering in the field and said, Who seeketh thou? He said, I'm seeking my brothers. 
position, thank God. And the old baker thought, well, he's got a good one. Maybe I'll get a good report. And he began to tell him his dream. And he said, in three days, he's going to take your head off. I'll tell you this morning, thank God. I'm glad this morning that the Lord, hey man, he ain't got no secrets this morning. He'll reveal where we are with him today. We don't have to wonder whether we're in fellowship with him or not. Thank God, I'm glad. I bear the Bible said, I said that old Joseph, he told the butler when he left, I'm going back to his I there to stand before Pharaoh and said, do you remember me? Hey, man, because I'm in here. I've been falsely accused. And I want to I wanna get out, thank God, this morning. I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that's in bondage this morning. They want to get out. But I'll tell you, this morning, the Lord's the way out today. Hey, man, he can give you peace. Thank God, he can set you free. I'm thankful for it this morning, but the Bible said I, I, in the process of time, two years later, I, I, the Bible said, and this is on God's time, thank God. I, I tell you, we just have to be patient and wait on the Lord. I, I, we may pray many of a prayer. I believe old Jonah prayed many a prayer. I, I, down there in the prison, thank God, I, I, in bondage, wanting to, I, I, the Lord to set him free, thank God. I, and I believe the Lord I, I just come by and tell him just, I, hey man, just encourage him to wait. Thank God. I, I'll tell you, if we don't wait upon the Lord, we don't mount up his, his wings as eagles. I, hey man, we can run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. I, hey man, thank God the young man may faint, but I'll tell you, I, I'll tell you, those that wait upon the Lord, thank God. I, I'm glad the Lord will renew our strength, Brother Bob. I've been a lot of things that come on to this church and try to stop us. I, I, but thank God we just prayed and waited on the Lord. Hey, man, thank God. I, I, by and by, the Lord came by. Thank God, I tell you. I, I, I love you. Pray a prayer. And he, I, I, the doctor said, but it don't look good. I, hey, man, thank God you just I, I tell the church to pray. Thank God this morning. Wait on the Lord, thank God. I, hey, man, had to wait for all the test results. I, hey, man, and when you get this, I, I get good news. Thank God. You want to share it with everybody. I, and thank you for praying. Thank God there was a time when I couldn't walk. I asked people to pray. I, hey, man, we get able to be able to walk again. I, hey, man, I tell you, I had to wait on the Lord. I, hey, man, it took some time to pray. Hey, man, I'm glad the Lord still hears prayer. Hey, man, if we will wait on him, trust him, thank God. And I, I, Joseph just waited on the Lord, thank God. But I tell you, two years later, I, old Pharaoh had a dream. I, hey, I, hey, that trouble with him. I, I, nobody called in all of them. All this man, thank God, though. Hey, man, they leaned on it and tell him. Hey, man, all the wise men of Egypt come in and I, I interpret the dream. I, I, they couldn't, but I tell you, I, oh, the butler stood before him and said, Today I do remember my fall. I, hey, man, began to tell him about when he was in prison. They was, I, he had a dream and there was a man down there. I, hey, man, that can interpret the dream. <coughs> Thank God. Hey, man, he said, I, I go get him. Thank God. I tell you, they came with him and, and brought old Joseph out. He said, I, I old Pharaoh, thank God, he called him for him a king. Hey, man, I tell you, there was a call come one day. My brother, the king called. Thank God. Hey, man, I'm glad the king called one day. I, I, Jerry, we're getting you out of this situation. I, hey, man, I'm glad this morning that we've been able. I, I, the, I, the Lord got us out of the, I, I, the sinful state we're in in bondage. I, hey, man, and when he called, thank God we was able I, I, to get out. Thank the good Lord. But I, I, the Bible said that Joseph, 
I saved himself and I, I changed his garment. Why? Because he had gone before the king. Amen. I tell you when I, amen, when I, I come in his presence, I want, I, I want to be clean, don't you? I, I want to look right. Thank God I want to be right. Amen. When I come before him, amen. And that was Joseph speaking. I'm going, amen, to stand before the king. Amen. And when he got there, I, I read the scriptures this morning. That I, I, Pharaoh said, I've dreamed a dream and no one can interpret, but I have heard. I, I've heard of thee. Thank God that you're able I, I, to interpret dream. And I, I, Joseph said, it's not I, I, I but there's a God in heaven. I, a man can give the king peace. I, I'll tell you, the old king, thank God he was troubled I, about the I, a dream he'd had. He'd seen seven I, a fat time came up. Thank God that they was a well fleshed. Thank God, sad looking. Thank God, but I, I, there was seven I, a lean king I, I came, came up and, I, and they was the worst he'd ever seen. And he said that they, I, I, those seven I, uh, the ill-favored kind that came up, they ate up the, uh, the fat kind and it troubled him. He didn't understand what it was. Uh, and he dreamed another dream. The Bible said there was, uh, uh, there was uh, a stalk of corn come up and it had, uh, oh, uh, and it multiplied the ears that was on it. Just uh, uh, seven ears on one stalk there and they was full. Uh, uh, the Bible said but there was seven other. Uh, uh, there was another ha, ha, seven years of uh, uh, stalks came up and they were ha, ha, blasted and uh, ill favored and ha, ha, the fruit not able uh, the ears that was on it not able to eat it ha, and they ate up the good corn and ha, he said what does this mean what is it ha, and uh, ha, I tell you ha, ha, Joseph began to tell him what the Lord had told him he said they're coming ha, ha, seven good years ha, hey Ha, the land's going to bring forth abundantly. Ha, and then there's seven. Ha, ha, with those seven years of, ha, years of being dead, ha, ha, there's coming seven ha, ha, bad years of famine. Ha, and the, ha, ha, the seven years of famine is going to eat up the good. Ha, 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 he said, ha, 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 what, ha, what can we do about this? He said, ha, ha, the seven good years ha, ha, build storehouses began to gather up all that's produced, ha, a fifth of everything that's ha, ha, raised. Thank God put it in storehouses that you'll have. Ha, ha, thank God I tell you this morning, Christian. Ha, 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 hey man, let me say this morning, thank God I'm glad there's been some good years. Ha, hey man, we've been able to gather in some good stuff. Thank God in our heart. Ha, ha, good revivals and ha, ha, good ha, ha, times in the house of the Lord. Thank God, I, I'm glad we've been able to store them up. I, I don't know what's coming down the road, but I tell you, I, hey man, I believe the Lord sufficed us. I, hey man, that we can make it through the end. I, I don't know how things are going to wind up down here on this earth. I, hey man, but I tell you, I believe the Lord, I, hey man, he's made provision for us. I, hey man, and I, old Joseph said, look ye out, man, that's wise and discreet. I, Hey man, they'll know how to gather up and how to store. Ha, hey man, and the old Pharaoh said unto him and to those that were around him, Could we find anyone else ha, ha, that's any wiser than you? Ha, hey man, let me, ha, ha, you already know the scriptures, but I hey, ha, hey man, he promoted old Joseph. Ha, hey man, he was second in command ha, over everything in Egypt. Thank God. Ha, hey man, he may have cried. Hey man, he might have done some crying and weeping down there. Ha, hey man, he was falsely accused. So ha, his brothers hated him, wanted him to die out of the way, wanted him killed. But thank God. Ha, hey man, he just stayed with the Lord. Thank God. Ha, hey man, let me tell you, ha, ha, just hold, hold on ha, ha, to the unchanging hand of the Lord this morning. Ha, hey man, Joseph. Ha, hey man, he was over. Hey man, everything in Egypt. Oh, I, I Pharaoh told him, I, I, everything's your 
years of the throne. I'll sit there. Hey, man, but you're sitting at my right hand of the other words. Hey, man, you tell everybody what to do. Everything that's done, it will be through you. Thank God this morning. Hey, man, I'll tell you, that seven years were plenty, brother, they gathered up. They stored up. The Bible said they even lost count of how when they started out, Job was getting a tally every day. How much did it store up? But it got to the point, Brother Rick, that they couldn't keep up with it. Hey, man, this morning, but I'll tell you, hey, man, not only did the famine come, hey, man, that they stored up after the seven years. Just like Job had said, what the Lord had told him, there on Pharaoh, the dream that he interpreted, there's going to be seven good years, and then there's going to be seven bad years. Hey, man, but if you'll gather up, thank God. If you'll store up, thank God, when the lean times come, thank God you have. I thought about this past year, thank God. A lot of churches closed up. We've had to call on some. A lean time, brother. But I'm glad, brother, we was able, in days past, we gathered up. Thank God we still had a desire how to go to meet. Thank God. I'm glad the Lord sent Brother Joel along. Thank God. And made a way for us. Thank God that we could still have meetings. Thank God we could get it out. If you wasn't able to be here, thank God. You could see it on Facebook or YouTube. Hey, man, if you had a desire to get here, you could stay in the parking lot. Hey, man, thank the good Lord. I made a way, thank God. The Lord always made a way. And he always will. But thank God, I tell you, when the famine come, it was, hey, man, it was everywhere. Thank God, even up, thank God. In Canaan, hey, man, where Jacob and the older brother dwell, thank God. And old Jacob, Jacob said unto his children, said, why do you sit here and look one to another? I've heard this corn down in Egypt. Hey, man, thank God, God. God's working. Hey, man, he was working with Joseph. Hey, before Joseph was born, he had a plan. Thank God. Now, let me tell you this morning, we just hadn't, didn't have by by accident. Thank God. None of us. Thank God. And God had a plan way back. He, even before any of us was born, had a plan for our life. I've seen our day. Thank God. I made a way for us this morning. Thank God. Hey, man, he sent his sons down there in the hot Egypt to get some corn. Hey, man, when they got down there. Hey, man. Hey, man, they didn't recognize Joseph, but Joseph knew who they were. Hey, man, he talked roughly to them. Thank God. Hey, man, he said, you're spies. You come in. Hey, man, to spy out the nakedness of the land. And they said, no, we be true men. And we be brave. Brothers of uh, our father still at home. Uh, uh, hey, hey, we're twelve brothers and one is not. Uh, I tell you, uh, uh, brother, uh, uh, Joseph didn't know that Benjamin had been born. I uh, uh, didn't know anything. Hadn't heard any news from home. Uh, hey, man, but he knew uh, uh, from his brothers that he had a, uh, a younger brother, uh, and he talked rough to him. He did. Uh, he said, "No, you're all spies." Uh, hey, man, he said. Uh, I tell you, how are we going to prove this? I, I thank God. He said, you go get your younger brother and bring him down here. I, and I don't know whether or not you're telling me the truth. And they said, I, I, my, I, our fathers won't let him come down here I, I, because he's lost one I, I son. And I, if he loses the youngest, I, I will him this. I, I, in other words, it will be the death of him. The scriptures I'm paraphrasing this morning. I, I, but I, he said, I, I will. I, I, uh, one of you going to have to stay here in bondage huh, until you go. Huh, uh, thank God and take corn back to your father. Huh, uh, there and they, huh, I, I, I believe you would see me. And I don't know. Huh, uh, that'll give you something to read and huh, uh, study on this week. If I can tell you, huh, uh, you search it out for yourself. But huh, uh, anyway, huh, uh, the Bible said huh, uh, that... Huh, 
that they uh, got, got put their coin in their bag and Joseph told the servant uh, he said you put every man's money back in the mouth of his sack uh, and they got down the road uh, amen to an inn where they was going to stay that night uh, and they opened uh, had their bags there to get out some uh, uh, provender for their uh, animals there and, uh, and there was their uh, uh, there was their money uh, amen you talk about the fear uh, I believe every man shuddered in his boots. I really do. I, I, when they saw their I, I money there, thanks for good Lord. I, I, the Lord working. I tell you, the Lord's got a plan. He's working this morning. I, amen. Thank God. I, and they went on home. Thank God. And they told Jacob I, I, what had happened there. I, and the, the Bible says that I, I, by and by they eat up what I, I, they got out of Egypt. And they're going to have to go back and go I, uh, Jacob said, you boys go back down there. Uh, and he said, uh, uh, he spr uh, uh, strictly uh, uh, told us, except you bring that youngest son, uh, uh, you will not be able to see my face. Uh, and Jacob said, he's not going. Uh, he's not going. But uh, I tell you, they got the word. They uh, uh, getting hungry. Thank God, I tell you, when you get hungry, uh, uh, thank God, uh, uh, you will want to move. Thank God. I tell you this morning, uh, I believe they've lost of folks have been at home for a while, thank God. And they're getting hungry, Brother Ed, to get back in church. Amen. The fellowship mission, the fellowship. Amen. The, the worship service, thank God, they're beginning to come back. Amen. Thank God this morning. And Jacob finally agreed to let Benjamin go. And he said, if I, if I but lose him, I but lose him. Uh, brother, I'll tell you, this morning they got uh, uh, got back down there. Uh, Bless you. <clears throat> they got back down to Egypt. And when <clears throat> they got down, Jacob, Joseph,
crazy about not only the <coughs> Pharaoh and trouble, he didn't have any patience, but I believe his brothers didn't have any patience. And 13 years that they've been carrying what they've done. And, <coughs> and when Joseph uh, began to speak to him, and Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph, doth my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. And Joseph said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And when they came near him, he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. Now therefore be not grieved nor angry with yourself that you sold me hither, for God is sending me before you to preserve life. For these two years hath of the famine been in the land, and yet there are five years in the which thereof there shall neither be earring nor harvest. And God sent me before you to preserve you a prosperity in the earth, and to save your life by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither. They thought that they had the hatred and the anger that they had against Joseph that they caused him to come down there. But <clears throat> so now it was not you that sent me hither, but God, and he hath made me a father to Pharaoh and a lord of all his house and a ruler throughout the land of Egypt. Haste ye and go up to my father and say unto him, Thus saith the divine son of Joseph, God hath made me lord of all Egypt. Come down unto me and fail not. So he grieved as he grieved as a young man that his, uh, his father and his mother and his brothers sent bow before him. They all did it. They all uh, recognized him as the Lord of uh, down there in Egypt. And I thought about that. And, uh, they went down. The Bible said they were sent to, for Jacob. Jacob. Jacob couldn't believe that Joseph was still alive. But the Bible said that he sent a caravan of the wagons that they were using and all this stuff. The Bible said that when he saw the wagons, he believed uh, what was being told him. And they were there to be sold to get down into Egypt. And then 430 years later, that came out a great nation, uh, 7 million people that went down there. But I, I'm glad this morning that uh, this, uh, this, this is this scripture that we read about. It, uh, it was peace and Joseph and his family and his brothers and made peace with one another. stories that have a good ending, don't you? So, and I'm glad this morning that we've got, uh, we've got one that, that's got a good ending. We know the Lord. I wonder Amen. after a while we'll close out here, Brother Ed. And, Amen. And all the families that will be there. Every, every, everyone that's been born again is going to be there. And uh, we'll have a good time together. And I'm thankful this morning that the peace that the Lord is able to give us. Things that come and trouble us Better day coming for all of us this morning. But I appreciate you.